Prizemag.com. So we're here today at AUSA 2016. Who inspired you to be a voice actor? Who inspired me to be a voice actor? Uh-huh. I'd say probably Frank Welker. Uh, he, he's essentially everyone's childhood. Uh, any name, almost any cartoon from like the 90s and the 80s, he was in it. Um, I didn't really realize that people did the voices behind characters until I started looking it up and being like, oh, these, these dudes are they're awesome. They can change their voice and do whatever characters they want. Um, and then Scott McNeil, he was in a show called Beast Wars, and I watched that growing up, and I was like, he's, he's a really good, he's a really good actor. I want to be like that. Um, were you fan, <clears throat> were you a fan of anime or gaming before you got into the business? Uh, yeah, I was anime trash. <laughs> uh, I used to watch Toonami when it first came out, uh, when they were having like Bebop and Trigun and Kenshin, and then that's what got me hooked. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I think, was my first. Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon were my first. Uh, is there any fandoms you are currently into now? Um, not really. Uh, I mean, I like certain shows, but I don't necessarily become like one of the fandom or anything like that. Uh, maybe like strong casual, I'd call myself, yeah. Uh, is there any current dream roles of yours? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, if they already happened, does that count? Uh, sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, I wanted to be in Noragami really badly. Uh, and being Yukine was, was one of the most awesome things for me. Uh, and recently, uh, I got to voice my favorite character ever. Uh, I got to play Kenshin Himura in the live action dub that we're doing of that, uh, that trilogy. And yeah, that's, that's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, do you have any techniques for getting into character? Techniques for getting into character. Uh, it depends on the character. Um, I'm, I play a, a Russian character, and so a lot of times I'll have to warm up, say, Russian phrases or uh, certain uh, syllables or uh, things to, to help get my mouth into the right place for Russian. Um, and then I'll, I'll like, the, there are certain postures that I take for certain characters. It's, it, it just happens in the booth, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, just typical actory dumb things that we do. <laughs> do you play Pokemon Go currently? Yes! Apparently there was a Dragonite and we could not find it. <laughs> what team are you on? Uh, what team are you on? I'm Mystic. Yeah, that <laughs> one! Um, no, I, a funny story there, I, we were playing at night when I leveled up enough to, to choose my team, but we were like in this tall grassy area, so like I was, trying to maneuver my way, and this is Texas, so I don't, it's nighttime in Texas in a grassy area. I don't know what's in the grass, you know, it could be a snake or a scorpion spider, whatever, I don't know. So I'm trying to watch and be careful and be, be very alert, and so I'm like just pressing whatever on my phone, I'm not paying attention, and I, I look at my phone and there are these silhouettes, I'm like, I, I should pick the left one. I'm like, no, I'll, I'll go with the right. So I pick the right, I come home and uh, my wife's like, so which team did you pick? I'm like, what team? It's like, you, you picked a team, right? I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I looked at it and I was like, oh no, I picked Team Valor. <laughs> and because it turned out the one on the right was Team Valor, the one on the left was Instinct. So if I had followed my instinct, I would have been Instinct. So I like to think of myself as a Team Instinct, but wearing like a Team Valor shirt. You can just see like the little edges of yellow on underneath and being like, yeah, Valor! Don't take my lunch money. Do you tend to be more animated in the booth or more stationary? Oh, I am animated. I, I found out recently uh, one of my coworkers records like with his hands behind his back and like in an A stance and he does not move. And the characters that he voices are like these wild, wacky characters. I'm like, how do you do that? I'm always like flailing like a weirdo. And like, I, I've like, I've punched myself in the booth accidentally when I'm doing like fight scenes or whatever, or knocked my headphones off. Yeah, I'm not elegant. Uh, has working in the business fulfilled any of your bucket list goals? Um. Yeah, I'd say working in the anime industry was a bucket list for me. Didn't expect that, especially as a fan. Yeah. 
Out of all the characters you've played, who is the most like you, and then who is the least like you? I, I probably have to say the character that was most like me is uh, from years back I did a show called Birdie the Mighty Decode and the main character he's just sort of this awkward artistic kid you know he he, <laughs> he tries my dad called me after watching the show and was like hey I love the show and, and your character he's, he's great I'm like oh thank you he's like yeah he reminds me of you I'm like oh really he goes yeah like in the way that he like tries to act cool but really isn't I'm like Thanks, Dad. I appreciate that. Um, characters that I'm not like... Probably the time I voiced an ostrich, a dog, and... Uh, what was the other one? A sloth in the same show. I am not an ostrich or a dog or a sloth. Last time I checked. Has acting viewed the way you... Uh, like, look at the entertainment industry now? Oh yeah, I'm jaded. I'm cynical. <laughs> Do you watch any of the shows or play any of the games that you've voiced on? Uh, I frequently watch my performance just to see what I can learn, like where I can, I, where, where my weaknesses are, where my strengths are, and what I need to work on, essentially. Or if the show's really good, I'll just watch it. I enjoy that kind of stuff. What is the best part about being a voice actor? The best part about being a voice actor? Uh, at least from my perspective, I enjoy uh, I enjoy art and animation, and so being able to be a part of that creative process is is really cool to me. Um, specifically, in the idea that you can th it doesn't matter what you look like physically, you can play anything, like any type of character. It doesn't have to even be human. So yeah, that's a lot of freedom. Uh, when growing up, did you have any other careers in mind, and if you did? Did you decide to become a voice actor because it was difficult to follow the other path, or did you just follow <laughs> your dream? Uh, that's that's interesting because I remember telling myself myself I I never wanted to be an actor. I was a very animated kid growing up, and so like my cousin would tease me all the time and be like, "You're like a cartoon. You'd be great. Like I can just see you in the future like this, holding an award and being, you know, like thank you. This is for the Academy or whatever." I'm like. No, I'm never going to be an actor, and then I became an actor. And that sort of happened on accident. Like, I was originally going to be like a comic book artist, because I thought that would be easier than doing voice acting, because why would they hire me? And then they hired me. So yeah, I don't know how that happened. And, I, and now I, I do comics on the side anyway, so I guess that works. Out of all the characters that you've played, which one would you like to take on a road trip? Oh, dear. <laughs> Some of them are dead. Uh, <laughs> let's see. On a road trip. Uh, I'd probably say... Oh, God. B from Space Dandy. Because that would be weird. I'd enjoy that. Also, it would be really good to have like a high-pitched version of me in the, in the backseat just chatting with me. I think that would be really surreal. What is the proudest moment of your career? Oh, uh, hasn't happened yet, I'm sure. Uh, have you learned anything about yourself while working in the industry? Yeah, I, I think I've, I've learned a lot about myself, uh, who, who I should be, who, who not to be, for sure. Um, and, and I think I'll, the biggest challenge has been sort of trying to stick to my guns of who I am and not let the industry change me so much. I've seen a lot of people come in and they, either the industry rips them to shreds or they change and become a monster of human beings. If you can montage your career into any one song, what would it be? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'd have to say Don't Blink by Reliant K. It kind of represents, uh, in the chorus, there's a line that says, uh, don't blink or it's gone. I've been terrified of life for way too long. And that's sort of been just me dealing with my fear of and insecurities throughout my career. So yeah, it sort of speaks to me. And finally, do you have any advice for your fans? Don't be a voice actor. I'm kidding. Um, work hard. Work hard and don't change who you are. It, most importantly it is who you are as a person. All the other things about like, you know, your career and 
the accoutrements, fame, whatever. That's just window dressing. It's an illusion. Be a good person. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. We rise mag.com.